Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Reese. I've been asked to answer a question submitted by Frank. Frank's 22 years old and experiencing uh, hair thinning to the frontal hairline as well as the crown. Um, he does not have a strong family history for hair loss. Um, one other associated thing is that uh, at 16 years of age, Frank was put on a medication called Accutane for severe acne. He noticed hair thinning uh, with the use of the Accutane, so he discontinued it about a month into using it. The questions that Frank submits uh, are, uh, is his hair loss uh, associated with the Accutane use, and would a hair transplant be appropriate for him? Well, Accutane use is associated with hair loss, but it's not uh, felt uh, to be a permanent hair loss. Uh, for a period of months after the Accutane has been discontinued, you may continue to have thinning hair, but we'd expect the hair to improve with time. The Accutane does not kill the follicles that grow the hair. Uh, although Frank says that he does not have uh, a strong family history for hair loss, the pattern of hair loss that he describes being frontal hairline and crown does sound like it's a genetic pattern of hair loss. I would, I would guesstimate, uh, not having met Frank, that he'd be classified as a Norwood 3 vertex to a Norwood 4 pattern of genetic hair loss. So the key points to remember are this. Um, there may be someone in your family history that isn't you know, a first degree relative, but maybe someone further out that does have pattern hair loss. The second thing is, is that you're young, Frank, at 22 years old, uh, your pattern of hair loss would probably continue to express itself over time, maybe end up as a Norwood 5, 6, or even a 7 pattern. So we've got to be conservative with you. In my opinion, surgical hair restoration is not your primary uh, cornerstone of your therapy. In fact, the cornerstone of your therapy at 22 years of age is to stop losing hair. And the way you're going to stop losing hair is to use one of the three FDA-approved options, either Propecia, Minoxidil, or low-level laser therapy. Now, one year, two years, five years down the road, if you've stopped uh, uh, expanding hair loss because you're using one of these FDA-approved options, if you wanted to be reassessed for surgical hair restoration at that point, that would be a good option at that point. But again, the cornerstone of your therapy, in my opinion, is to stop losing hair right now. Thank you.